Good morning, Scott, and members of the panel, and to those of you joining us for today's webinar. I appreciate the opportunity to speak about TSA and the technology innovations we are developing and implementing to ensure the security of travelers. Everything we do supports our mission of protecting the nation's transportation systems to ensure the freedom of movement for people and commerce. And we could not do that without the close partnerships and collaboration we enjoy with organizations like the Airports Council International and its many members. While our primary job is to make sure travelers are safe and secure, we also want to offer a smooth and positive passenger experience. Providing world-class transportation security and delivering a good passenger experience are not mutually exclusive. They are mutually reinforcing more often than not. As the number of travelers begins to return to pre-pandemic levels, advancing our technology, processes, and policies remains a vital part of TSA's multi-layered approach to transportation security. Innovation is key to that approach and to helping us stay ahead of emerging threats to transportation, so much so that we've developed an innovation doctrine to make sure it is at the forefront of everything we do. The doctrine was designed to accomplish several objectives. It establishes a disciplined and repeatable process for innovation at all levels of our organization. It provides a framework as we partner with industry, university, and government to share information and come up with solutions to complex problems. And it outlines a set of fundamental principles that guide us in coordinating and implementing actions toward agency-wide innovation. In our environment of constant change, shifting threats, and dynamic technology, TSA must be agile. When President George W. Bush signed the Aviation and Transportation Security Act into law and created TSA 20 years ago, he did so with the express purpose of forming an entrepreneurial agency that could remain nimble in its approach to protecting our nation's transportation systems from terror. In fact, our cornerstone reads in part, and I quote, forged on an anvil of cruel necessity and blood shed innocently, the Transportation Security Administration was built urgently in a time of war to preserve peace. This vital agency was made not of steel and stone, but of innovation, quiet patriotism, steady virtue, and the firm resolve of a nation that would not yield to terror. During the pandemic, we reaffirmed our commitment to accelerate new and innovative concepts and pursue advancements in technology and procedures to provide the most effective security for the traveling public in the safest way possible. Disruption was here, and we knew there was an obligation to respond with agility and innovative practice. New technologies have played a vital role in how airport security has evolved and improved over the past 20 years, as industry develops new methods to help TSA detect threats. Artificial intelligence is a promising horizontal emerging technology that promises to play a vital role, not only in our operational technology, but our vetting systems, staffing programs, and all aspects of agency operations. The potential impacts from AI on the security of the homeland and upon our department's operational activities, both positive and negative, make it imperative for DHS to take a proactive role in the use of AI systems and to contribute to the national conversation on the secure use of this transformative technology. We continue to proactively explore the future state of the passenger screening experience and where artificial intelligence will disrupt or improve its capability. On-person screening using advanced imaging technology, or AIT, enhancements reduce the number of false alarms at the checkpoint, along with the number of pat-downs by using even more sophisticated millimeter wave technology. Coupled with emerging computer vision capabilities, AIT may continuously learn from millimeter wave data to better assess threats and prohibited items. Computer vision and machine learning has the capacity to ingest data and improve algorithms in real-time deployment. In carry-on bag screening, we use computed tomography, or CT, and this has significantly improved the detection capability and produces high-quality 3D images that can be rotated up to 360 degrees on three axes for more thorough visual analysis of a carry-on bag's contents, reducing alarms and the need to physically inspect bags. AI is based on learning principles, and critical to that is strong, accurate, and immense data sets. Leveraging the zettabytes of global data generated from CT, and applying machine learning principles, TSA with its global partners can develop dramatically improved detection algorithms based on these data sets. For example, machine learning can help detect prohibited items like firearms, including components and potential 3D printed weapons. Innovations in machine learning could potentially lead us to a state where we only review images on alarm, as we do in the check baggage screening environment today. This will take some time, but it is an aspirational future state. 
With identity verification, there's the credential authentication technology, or CAT, which automatically verifies identification documents presented by passengers during the security screening process. TSA started using CAT machines just four years ago, and we are already on our third iteration. We have tested a CAT with camera, which can compare a live photo of a passenger to the photo on their ID. The next generation of CAT machines allow passengers to scan their own IDs, further reducing touch points and contact, while also saving time for travelers. A key step to leveraging the opportunities presented by AI across our ecosystem was the open architecture agreement I signed last year in partnership with our international peers. Open architecture means greater coordination, technology access, flexibility, and modularization of our core components with all international partners. Moving forward, TSA must continue to consider innovative solutions that allow us to improve identity management while mitigating the potential risks that these new technologies may introduce to our transportation system and better meet the challenges of evolving security threats, rising air travel volumes, resource constraints, and limits on our operational footprint. While I know we are here to discuss the important topic of AI, I would be remiss not to mention TSA's commitment to the strong partnerships that continue to bring us closer to one-stop security. Beyond technical innovation, some of our most important prospects are found in network, process, and channel innovations like this effort. If you're unfamiliar, the one-stop security pilot would allow passengers and their baggage connecting on certain international flights in the United States to be exempt from rescreening by TSA. TSA is firmly committed to the idea that security should be everyone's responsibility. Protecting our nation's transportation systems requires robust partnerships like those we have with ACI and others and effective security operations across all modes of transportation. These joint efforts will be especially important as we work to address the evolving risks and threats across the transportation domain during the coming years. Together, I know we will adapt and innovate to reflect the new travel environment without losing focus on our primary mission of securing against the terrorist threat. Thank you again for inviting me to speak with you today, and I look forward to continuing the dialogue.